welcome back to the channel. We are going to be making a rolling pin today. It has been a very, very long time since I made a rolling pin. I didn't like the second one I made. The first one I made was awesome. It looked amazing. It was just mwah, perfect. The second one, it didn't look as good. So simple, simple is key. We have purple heart, we have zebra wood, and we have blood wood, which is slightly smoother than the padau wood I used last time. First, we're gonna cut the main slab out. And all I have is butcher bar. Still, none of these pieces are big enough either. I can't have a joint. Get a different piece of butcher block. I actually don't have any butcher block other than that one in this building, so I'm gonna go get the other one. We'll go see. Kind of think if maybe this wasn't such a bad piece after all. I have an idea. Less talking, more working. Let's go. That's an absolute massive clamp. There's a reason for that. I forgot to square up these before I put them together, which is kind of important. I need to get them square because my table saw does not cut square. Even though sitting the way they are right now, it actually looks perfect. Now we're gonna begin cutting down the other pieces, the blood with the zebra wood and the purple heart. And we're gonna cut them to, let's say, two and a half inch slabs. I'm probably gonna make two inches at the end, but eh, it looks like three inches actually. No, I'm just gonna have, that's fine. This way, and then we will resaw them all to a thinner thickness, probably around 3 eighths, and then plate them down to like 5 sixteenths. <laughs> I'm piece of cherry, which is a very low contrast to the other one we have, but it looked like this before, and I milled it down to look like this, which is pretty cool, I think. Now we're gonna run this over the joiner to get them nice and squared up, and then we can start cutting them at the angles and then gluing in our pieces. I was not filming either one of those cuts, but anyway, there's gonna be more, so don't be too sad. Now we're gonna cut this off on this edge, away from the edge, so we can actually get our um, flush cut router bit in there and clean that up. We're gonna use type on three. Lots and lots of glue. Almost perfect.
time we're gonna do this, I promise. Same old thing, you should be able to do this in your sleep by now. You know, having a planer or having a friend with a planer is gonna make this a lot easier if you're gonna make a rolling pin. Ow. The bloodwood. This is like really simple. I could have done this if I watched this video when I was like 13, when I first started doing woodworking, I could have made this rolling pin. It looks really cool and it looks really complicated, but it's super simple. Anybody that has a table saw, all you gotta do is make a little sled like that one. I made that one, whatever, a year ago when I did the first one. So if you wanna make a rolling pin, do not feel intimidated by anything in this video because it's all really, really easy. Always a great day when you walk into the shop and you have three other ideas in your mind that you, for projects you have to do, and then you see a rolling pin that has to be made. So we're gonna do that first, because it is the first project I started out of all these. Good. That is so cool. So I thought about cutting these edges off of 45s to make it less to turn off, but why not just do the whole thing? Okay, cue the music. So I did not follow the advice of one of my commenters who said you should leave this thing rough and not oil it so it doesn't put oil in your bread and it doesn't and a flour will stick to it when you're rolling things out. Um. It'd be really hard to leave this rough because it's such pretty wood and the pattern's so nice so I actually went to 400 grit and did steel wool which is about as smooth as you can get on wood. Yeah it's not rough and I'm going to oil it so there you go. We are going to oil it with mineral oil, which is the only food safe natural oil that does not ever go rancid because it's mineral, so it can't. I don't think it's going to do too much. Yeah, it's going you know, to do something. My personal thanks to all 15 of you that watched this video and got all the way to the end. This is a really cool looking pin. It's actually better looking than the other one, I think. The geometry is better. The shapes in the Celtic knot are really even. I really like how it looks. The polish is amazing, even though maybe it's not proper for one of these rolling pins. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.